Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more of the royal family. Hope you guys had a fantastic day. And man, last episode we found out that Barbara's most likely going through menopause. Not quite sure, but it seems like that's the case. A lot of people were getting under her skin in the last episode. She was sweating a whole lot, so there's a good chance that's the that's the case. But they were kind of being unappreciative, so it might not be like a hormonal thing. There are a lot of them being unappreciative. The only people who were actually positive about the meal was Twiggy and Dave. Actually, Dave didn't say anything. He just ate. <laughs> I guess he shows his appreciation through consuming all the food. So maybe it was just that. Maybe it was just that everybody was being very unappreciative, and that's why she flipped out, you know? And being hot in the kitchen cooking the food. And as always, Nana and Jim were hilarious in the previous episode. They're always funny, man. I love when the grandmother's there, and Jim is always the funniest character to me. I look forward to checking this episode out, folks. So let's just go ahead and jump into it, and we'll talk about it more at the end. And the money one there, 1,500 mm. pounds. Not a bad night. Enjoyed yourself. Ainsley Harriet's bathroom. Congratulations, well done, Terry. Mm. Mm. Oh, Jim, put BBC on. It's changing rooms. I thought he's knocked out for a second. That? I thought he was knocked out. You're not. You're reading the paper. Yes, I'm reading the paper, but I'm listening to that. No, put changing rooms on. Oh, dear. What did you last sleep die of? Bloody hell, if you call that entertainment watching a cockney knocking nails into plywood. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what it's come to? Shut up, Jim. <laughs> I know you were a bit I hate those shows, not, not well, um, then I start to like them. I mean, I don't watch them now frequently, but I do watch a lot of DIY, DIY stuff online. Can't believe it. Look at them, the bloody old Nancy boy. Tie dyeing the neighbour's bloody curtains. <laughs> I'm glad we don't pay our licence fee, that's all I can say. I pay it. You what? Jim, they've got detector vans now. Hey, detector vans, my ass. Ooh, they come and park outside your house. They even know which programme you're watching. Yeah, well, they wouldn't charge us if they knew we were watching that shite. <laughs> bloody changing bloody rooms. Well, they're changing bloody channels. I like seeing people's houses get done up. It's very popular, is this, Jim? Well, why don't you do an hour and a half film of me mulching in the bloody box room? When was the last time you did any decorating? Well, I'm waiting for them changing room clowns, aren't I? Eh? Like them two there. They're doing bugger all, just sitting on their asses. It'd be a shame to let anybody come to this house. That's the worst thing about those shows, you judge them. <laughs> We're going to let our boy down there for a kick-off. Mm. I think I might stencil our kitchen unit. Stencil my ass. He would. There's nothing he'd like better than to stencil my ass. Well, I wish he would. <laughs> Better keep you quiet. <laughs> nothing he'd like better. <laughs> Smiley, my ass. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 I haven't seen you two since, um, when was the last time I saw you two? It must have been uh, last night, wasn't it? Bloody hell. <laughs> anyway, don't sit still for too long or your mother will bloody stencil, yeah? Oh, is it changing rooms? Yeah. Oh, I love this. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> oh, God, Denise, I nearly forgot. You've been for your antenatal. Mm, yeah. How did you get on? Well, it was a bit weird, really. This midwife woman, what was running it, she said that we had to talk a bit about our partners, and our partners had to talk a bit about us. Mm. What did Dave say about you? Well, he just said that I was pregnant. Bloody hell, that must have been a shock for the rest of the antenatal class, wasn't it? Bloody hell. <laughs> I just said about, you know, his disco and about the removals that he does and nah, that, but there isn't much else to say about him, really. Mm. <laughs> like, I agree. It's not much going on. Oh, yeah, and I said about how long we've been together. How long is it now? Five years. Oh, five years, yeah. They must have been clinging on to every word, really. <laughs> Sarcastic sod you are, Jim. I'm not. I bet you people were just glad they were out there able to see them instead of being stuck in here watching bloody paint dry like that. <laughs> so he is, Fabio. Take off. a notice of him, Denise. He's been like this all day. 
because I told him Nana's coming to stay for a week. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, definitely, yes. Oh, yes, it is. She's having a cataract removed. A cataract? What's she having it removed for? If she hasn't seen everything now by the time she's bloody 80, bloody four, what else is there left for her to look at? <laughs> Jim, it's a very serious operation. Oh, bloody. She's only coming for a week. A bloody week? Once she gets a big, fat, flabby ass on that settee, she'll be there for the duration. <laughs> It'll be company for you, Jim, while Barbara's at work. You know, Norm has never stuck for something to say. Well, if you've done the little boxing, why don't you take it to stay with you? I'd love to have Nana staying with us. No way. Do you not? This is my mother we're talking about here. Hey, Aunt oh, Denise, you should see her. <laughs> she's only 17, you know, she got a car. Tiny little thing she is. She's got her own car? Yeah. What does she do with her aunt in it then? Well, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Bogus. Aren't they going out with the bird of the car, eh? Yeah. She's the one that needs a bloody cataract operation. Hey, who wants to go out with our lurch? <laughs> <laughs> What's she look like? Hmm. She looks like one of the Spice Girls, you know. Does she? Hmm. Oh, hey, Denise. She's got her nose pierced. Bloody hell, piggy spice. <laughs> 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 Dave, hmm? why don't you take your coat off? I'm all right. May as well take it off, Dave. I'm sorry, I'm okay. Why don't you just take it off? Take hey, lady, leave you alone. I'm fine with it all. Take your jacket off, Dave. I'm, I'm okay, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the benefit, you know, when you go out. Oh my god. That's not matter. Why don't you just take it off? Take your bloody jackets off, will you, Dave? Yeah. What's this, Jim? Bloody hell, yeah, right. right. Oh, coat on that. Yeah. That was alright then with that on. <laughs> better. See? Passing the heck out of that dude. Oh, I bet that's our Anthony. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, it is him. Oh, they're actually going to show us a girl. Oh. Oh. oh, he's kissing her. <laughs> oh. He looks, looks all right. Yeah. Nice set of alloys. I like her hair. Hmm? Why is she going out with our aunt today? <laughs> they are so bogus, bro. Mm. No, he's getting out. He's getting out. Getting out, Jim. Oh no, he's still talking to her. Oh, look at him. And his hand on the roof, leaning in the window. Oh. <gasps> he's coming. <laughs> Sit down. They're dorks. Moon hits your eye like a big bitch of fire. Some more. Well, it's not just a big bitch of fire. Some more. 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 Some well, yeah, Emma's got an exam tomorrow. Ooh. 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 plus. Hey. Where's she from, Lich? Old Tringham. Oh, hey, man, we'll be made up when they're married, won't we? <laughs> You're worse than a bunch of kids, you lot. I told you we're going to put the kettle on. <laughs> All right, who wants a broom? Every bloody body. See what happens when you fall in love. Makes you dead lazy. <laughs> <laughs> they said brew early. I was thinking about we like beer. Yeah. yeah. What you call uh, beer? What brew. did you have? Spaghetti. All nice. Coops. Oh. 
We had chops. Did ya? Yeah. Mm, oh, bloody big chops. thick ones like that. Wow. Oh. oh, thank you, Lekio. Oh. Oh, Hey Denise, uh, are you going down there tomorrow? Where? Kissing me ass. Hey! Hey! I hope you don't say things like that to Emma. Tell you what, she's a lucky little girl, that Emma. She's landed on her feet with you, all right, isn't she? Hey, what would your prospects? Is it going to be Burger King, McDonald's? Who knows? <laughs> I bet they must have riveting bloody conversations. I hope she likes The Simpsons. <laughs> you know what your dad reminds me of in The Simpsons? Who? Homo. Hey. <laughs> Homo. Oh, look at his face. Doesn't like it when we laugh at him, does he? I'm laughing at you, you dopey bugger. It's not Homo. It's Homer. Oh. It's just like who's Homo? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it's just about Homer. But I'm like, wait a minute. I don't remember that character. Hey, any biscuits, Aunt? Well, there was none in the barrel. We'll have a look in the secret cupboard. Kit Kats? No! Bring us a penguin. I can't open them all. I'm only opening one packet. If I open more than one packet, it'll get it. It's trouble in this house. Every time I open something, it disappears. But the baby wants a wagon wheel. Oh. Anthony! Open the wagon no, wheels. Don't open the Kit Kats. Do you know what the best advert was? Bar none. Cadbury smash. Uh, we peel them with a steely knife. Oh, you know the one I like. <laughs> best? Yeah, you know what you're that tea ad with all the chimps. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. How would you get them to do that, Jim? I don't know, but I'll tell you what. I wish I could get them chimps saying, let's just spend a couple of weeks with our Anthony. Teaching him how to make a proper bloody brew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm managing a band. <laughs> <laughs> a day. Still bogus. Not the Alice Bryan Epstein. Oh, man. You're managing a band. <laughs> Who's in it? Well, Darren's on bass, <laughs> Ryan's on vocals, and Tigsy's on drums. Oh! Little Tigsy on drums? Yeah. Well, it's more of a drum machine, but yeah. Oh, I've got to see this. Oh. Isn't Tigsy still doing his community service? Yeah, but he's only got another year to go. Well, you have to sort it all out. You can't be conquering America and him having to come back home every bloody weekend <laughs> to do his community service. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I tell you guys anything? Uh, have you got any tapes? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a demo as soon as it takes his mum will let us use the garage. Oh, well, you're right there. No use wasting money on bloody Abbey Road if Joan will lend you the garage. <laughs> well, you don't want to be having Ryan singing. He ain't got anything about him, him. Oh. I'm still down for we. Well, go then. Yeah, may as well wait till we get home. Shall we go down a feathers then, Jim, yeah? Dave, you're going nowhere. Hey, Denise, you know them new trousers? They look bloody awful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that everybody. monkey vest. You're hardly Bruce Willis in Die Hard. <laughs> 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 Will you go for a piss? <laughs> what do you say? Oh, dude. You can't give me the All right, man. <laughs> uh, Jim lost it. Uh, dude, pissed off. I don't know how you can sit there comfortably having to piss anyway. I get that, you know, you wore off from being pregnant and all that jazz, but... Oh, man. And she said, I just got comfy. Like, how can you be comfortable with, like, a full bladder? I can't. Uh, I actually wish I could. Waking up to pee is like the worst thing when you're in like a really good sleep and having to get up. 
Sucks. It might not go beyond this episode, but it would be nice to actually have Nana stay with them for a week. That'd be a hilarious episode, dude. With Jim just flipping out because she's been super annoying and yapping the entire time. That'd be fantastic. I would love to see that for sure. And they're singing all those commercial songs, dude. Like, it's crazy. Uh, I can't even think of a, a recent jingle that's catchy. I remember, like, all the jingles from back in the day from watching commercials. And there are so many good ones that just stick in your head all the time. And then there's ones that just never catch on. And my favorite commercials are always the ones that had really good jingles or they were very funny. And I don't know why all commercials don't do that. Because for the most part, you just zone out. The really informative ones are just very, you know, very dry and boring. I think most people don't pay attention to them. I think the only really dry, boring commercial that I liked was the Clear Eyes Guy commercial. He was really, uh, like, I guess you say monotone and boring, but it was funny the way he talked. Poor Anthony. He's just so excited about his little band manager thing. He's just getting shit on the entire time. <laughs> Cold-blooded. No. I've never heard of the Manics. I've heard of Oasis, but I've never heard of the Manics. I have to look that band up and see. It's funny because I remember I used to hate those TV shows that have to do with, like, you know, house repair and all that jazz, as I said. But I actually started enjoying them. I don't watch them now. I don't sit down and actually watch full episodes of it. But if it was, like, on TV back in the day, I used to hate it. Then I actually got into it. And it's crazy. I kind of got into it, like, while kind of judging it, you know? Because my ex used to watch shows like that, the little extreme home makeovers and stuff. I'm like, this is freaking boring crap again. And honestly, just watching Transformation, I thought it was, I started thinking, like, oh, that's pretty cool, man. It just always exceeded my expectation of what you can do with, like, such a small space or a house that you think is complete crap. And you realize, like, what you can really do with that space if you had the money. Because some of those things were, some of those changes were crazy expensive. I don't know, it was wild to see, and I kind of, I wouldn't say I got obsessed with it, but it was always cool to see the changes. I don't really need all the rigmarole in between, and that's why I like DIY channels on YouTube, because a lot of stuff is... Like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes showing like a large project and how they completed it. Um, the only really long projects like watching it are like the off the grid projects where somebody finds like a little piece of land. They build themselves a nice little, you know, cabin or house or whatever completely off the grid. Those are really, those are really cool. You like thinking back of your head that, yeah, I'd do that one day. You know your ass isn't going to do it. <laughs> I want to live off the grid. But you're just too used to, you know, modern conveniences. But I do think about it sometimes like I should live in, not completely off the grid, but not so close to people. I would like that to have a little bit more like distance where you are, you know, because I live on pretty busy in a pretty busy area. All right, folks, I have rambled long enough. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.